Oh, hi there. I didn't see you. My name's Josh, Josh Bazura, and as long as you're here, I'd like to tell you a little campfire story, but, ah, uh, well, you know, it wouldn't be right. It's a tale that's so unbelievable and terrifying, it must be seen to be believed. And the only way to really see it is to check out the new film from Felpeller Studios, Camp Murder. It'll be streaming this Christmas, right into your very own home. You know, it started off in a place not so dissimilar to this, right around a campfire, just like this one here. And uh, once you see it, it's going to be a twist that nobody sees coming. There are two distinct plots, and they intersect. Uh, you know, they're on a collision course with one another. You know, I think you'll really enjoy it, and uh, we hope you stream it this year. Camp Murder is the film. Till then, let's make some s'mores. You won't let them make fun of me. Yeah, I promise. The inspiration for this film, you know, I just I feel like everybody. Well, maybe not everybody, but it's it's hard not to love the kind of charm and uh, the camp, if you will, of a lot of those late '70s, early '80s uh, campground slasher films that came out. You know, with just like the screaming teens and everybody's trying to pick up the slack of the Halloween movie and everybody's trying to capitalize fast. And you know, like you see the wires, you see the little, the blood tubes, but it's kind of all part of the fun. You know, they aren't really the scariest movies in the world, but uh, something about them, it screams like the Halloween season. It screams, uh, you know, just a good old spooky time. And who doesn't love that? And then, you know, just wanted to kind of make a comedy out of it as well, because it is all a farce at the end of the day. You know, uh, that was a trick, uh, directing and acting. And I mean, Bell Peller Studios gets full credit for that because uh, I wouldn't, I really wouldn't have been able to do it without like a really talented crew. But on top of that, a very talented cast. And kind of speaking about like the the charm of those movies, we had uh, a picture perfect cast. A lot of guys and uh, gals that, well, for a lot of them, it was their first time acting. Not true of Callie Bustle, who whose performance just must be seen. Uh, she's an absolutely phenomenal actor, but we had a lot of first timers and it kind of It added to I think the camp and the charm of the You know that any uh, summertime slasher should have So directing and acting it it kind of it ended up being easier than it should have been because just you know Having so much talent surrounding you and whatnot makes it a lot easier than you think <sighs> Oh fuck dude, she's fucking dead man <gasps> It's uh, the best feeling in the world, really, making movies. I mean, you know, you get to tell whatever story you want. You get to show it to the audience however you want, and then you get to put it all together and, you know, throw some music in there, throw in some creepy synthesizers and whatnot, a whole lot of 80s-type music. Yellow. It was honestly, it was, uh, was kind of like a camping trip. Uh, Every second that you weren't shooting, you were kind of just like, we, we had a bonfire one night, you know, we're cooking hot dogs, cooking s'mores, and we're all staying in a bunkhouse and whatnot. And, you know, the showers are either freezing cold or scalding hot, and there's no in between. So, I mean, it was, um, it would have been a super fun experience if we weren't even making a movie. And then the fact that we were making this movie really added on to it a lot. Uh, just making a mess, making a bunch of fake blood, getting the cops called on us because they found a murder scene that. <laughs> Uh, you know, it must have been a pretty uh, convincing murder scene, though. So that's got to speak to the quality of the special effects in this film, Can't Murder. you got to see them. You won't believe your eyes. Yeah. Oh, hang on one sec. Right yeah. Out. So, uh, try to wave it out no, I think we're good now. It's, it's, uh, yeah. Um... I'm trying to win a game here, okay? Go, go stay in your Are position. Are you kidding me right now? And yeah, as fun and as gratifying as it was to do this camping trip, it was a super uh, daunting task for a bunch of kids kind of hot out of film school to make a feature-length film and shoot it in seven days. It was just one, a seven-day block. Um, there were a couple pickups here and there, but pretty much principal photography was opened and wrapped in those seven days. And I mean, you know, it's just a lot of people doing multiple jobs. A lot of people uh, run into the store to pick up an extra extension cord, pick up an extra pack of cigarettes, prop cigarettes, of course. 
you know, just, uh, it, for every bit as fun as it was, it was, you know, really hard work and there really was a lot of stress, but that's kind of what makes it the most fun is that everybody's peaked. Everybody's, uh, you know, at the top of their game, everybody's on the edge of their seat. And uh, we hope it can keep you on the edge of your seat at home. Uh, yeah, and just, you know, I think it's always nice to support uh, local film, support independent film. And, you know, if we, could, if we could do it in seven days, I don't think there's a whole lot of people that couldn't out there. So if, it, uh, if anybody's seeing this that wants to make a movie, just give it a shot. It's better to make a, a bad feature that gets finished than a bunch of really good shorts that don't, right? Watch people watch this movie. How much time you got? I mean, if you uh, if you like horror movies, and if you like comedies, you're gonna like Can't Murder, in my opinion. Uh, a lot of the jokes are based on, you know, being fans of the genre and whatnot. It's a, there's a lot of meta jokes in there. Uh, yada yada yada. I think um, there's just so many there's so many funny performances and the kills. You can't go wrong with the kills. <laughs> we had a lot of talented makeup artists and whatnot working on this film. And the kills are spectacular, you know? You, uh, the movie's got everything a slasher movie should have. It's got kills, it's got laughs, it's got tits. So, I mean, if, if that doesn't sell you, I really don't know what will. We ready to go? That was one of the most fun things about the shoot, you know, getting the old cars, getting the old, the old duds, uh, finding camp buildings that were old enough to have existed in the 80s and not have, you know, updated uh, phones in the walls or infrastructure or whatever. It, it was one, probably the most fun thing about the shoot it was just waking up and seeing everybody in these old clothes and, you know, we've got all these, these super stylish cars like, and like old ones like parked out in the front yard. We had the the big uh, VW van, you know, the, the most classic vehicle ever, the old mystery machine, essentially. I mean, it was, um, it was so much fun. It was like we were actually living there for just a week. Like we actually went back in time, especially because when you're on set, you're not really looking at your phone. All you're looking at is the work you're doing. So if you ignore the, uh, the high-tech boom mic, I mean, it was like we were really there. And um, we hope it'll feel like you're really there as well. In 10 years, I see Camp Murder on Apple TV Plus and Amazon Prime streaming in your own living room. But I, um, uh, I think it's the kind of movie that, it's the kind of movie that back in the day when there were VHSs, it would have been like a VHS that you would rent based on the cover and you end up keeping it because it's just got a soft spot in your heart. And that's kind of where I see it living in, living in and amongst, uh, fans and haters and everything in between for the next 10 years is it just I think it'll be that kind of a you know that charming little movie that you found on a like a used VHS shelf and you just every now and then come back to because it's it's got a cozy little vibe and uh, I think it's got rewatchability can't murder streaming this Christmas don't miss it because it won't miss you <laughs>